From time to time you have to replace these blades in these pipe cutters. You can see there's a big chip out of this one and it won't cut anymore. They look really simple to replace, but sometimes they get stuck and you really have to work at getting these out. Sometimes these blades don't break, they just wear out. You can see how rounded this one is and how sharp this one is. Sometimes the cutter comes with extra blades, but you can always buy them separately as well. This larger pipe cutter came with extra blades, so I just zip tie them on there, and they're always there when you need them, not lost. There are three different size wheels, so you wanna make sure that you get the correct wheel for the correct cutter. We'll take out the screw, and I'll show you how to remove the blade. Pull the screw out, and on the other side is where it threads in. You might be able to get it with a pair of pliers, but you can see here, it will not come out. So I'll show you another method. We're gonna use a pick from the inside. Just put it on there and press, and you can see it just pops right out with that. We can go ahead and just remove that, and there's the blade. Check the size of the new blade with the old blade. The diameters are exactly the same size, but if you look at the thickness, the old one is thicker than the new one. To bring this to the right thickness, we can use a washer and that gets us very close. A washer on either side would be better, but one washer will work. You can line them up with the pick. Just get it centered. Put your bolt back in. Snug it up. Even though the washer is heavier on one side, you can see this is lined up pretty good. We don't want to lose the replacement blades, so we'll zip tie it right to the cutter. I'll save the old blade as well, that way I know exactly the size if I need replacements. Now if I break a blade, I'll know exactly where to find it. Now the cutter's all ready for pipe. 